Време на пандемия. Време за избор. От ръба на оцеляването до световните постижения. София на пътя на иновациите. Време е за среща на върха. Hi there. My name is Rick. And I'm so delighted to be here, at least digitally, in Sofia for the Innovation Explorer Forum 2021. In 2004, I was a managing director at a manufacturing company and I won a prize here in Sofia. I still got the trophy. I won a prize for a contribution to Bulgarian architecture. That prize was handed over to me in Sofia, but the day after we had a photo shoot and we had a photo shoot in Golden Sands. Now, in 2004, traveling from Sofia to Golden Sands with the most crazy driver ever was a quite frightening journey. But it's going to be only half as frightening as the journey that you will have to make towards the day after tomorrow. Because you will need the magic formula. The magic formula, and I'm going to tell you everything about the magic formula for the day after tomorrow, because you will need it. The day after tomorrow will be so different that you will have the feeling that it has turned your world upside down. No, and it's not because of the virus. The virus did not break the system. The system was already broken. We knew that the way we were making profit was not good for people and planet, but it's more. The mayor were right. The mayor said that the world would end on the 21st of December in 2012, and it happened. That was the end of the old normal. Another virus came on planet Earth in 2012, and that broke the system. The reason for that virus was a combination of the internet, then social media, and then the platform economy, and that all led us into, in 2012, that the world became mobile. We went mobile all the time and we turned into smombies. That was the virus, the smomby virus. We became smartphone zombies. People that lead their lives out of their smartphones. So if you ran out of battery power, you ran out of life. And if you, as a business manager, wonder where are my customers, I can tell you, your customers are in this upside-down world. They are in the smombie world. And that keeps you awake at night, just like this guy, James Jamie Diamond. Jamie Diamond is the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. And in 2015, he wrote a letter to his shareholders saying, I lay awake at night. Because of the startups in Silicon Valley, the startups in Silicon Valley are eating my lunch, a Wall Street's lunch. We've underestimated the impact of digital. We've underestimated the new customer. We've underestimated the speed of change. It is happening way faster than we could ever imagine. And Jack Wells already said that if the rate of change on the outside exceeds the rate of change on the inside, the end is near. And he's absolutely right. So, hey, stop to party like it's 1999. If your business model is still more or less what it was in 1999, that's not a good idea. You have to get out of the beach chair syndrome. Just imagine that your business model is putting and renting beach chairs on this overcrowded beach. Golden Sands. What do you do? You do every day what you did yesterday. You wake up a little bit earlier than competition and you steal an extra row and you increase your market share. But then for the rest of your day, the only thing you can do is operational excellence. Smaller chairs, put them closer together, buy them in China, they're, they're cheaper. You do it every day and tomorrow you're going to do what you did today, just that little bit better. And then there is a tsunami on the way. What happens when a tsunami is on the way? Your beach get wider. What is your brain going to tell you to do? Oh, opportunity, you're going to put more beach chairs on the beach. Are you going to look up and you're going to see that small wave on the horizon and your brain is going to minimize the wave. Yeah, it's not that big and the impact is not going to be that huge. You know what? I'll deal with that digital wave when it happens. I don't think so. Because when the tsunami is hitting your beach and you're still on the beach, the only thing you can do is scream and run. You don't want that. So 
the question that you need to ask is not what the it is what is the future are you asking me i don't know what the future is going to be the only thing i know is that the old normal is dying and that the new normal is not born yet and that we are entering the twilight 20s the zone in between the old normal and the new normal a vuca zone and in a vuca zone you cannot run an organization based on assumptions assumptions kill and what is the perfect antidote for assumptions the perfect antidote for assumptions is passionate curiosity so you have to develop a new kpi in your organizations the net curiosity score and you need to enhance the net curiosity score because that is going to help you to survive the twilight 20s and to come out as a winner you need to be passionate you're curious about your customer because it's the customer that defines whether your company is going to survive or not and your customer doesn't like broken conversations he wants you to recognize him he wants you to avoid poor experiences and he wants to be the center of the universe your customers are looking for damn good sex what do you see customer experience you don't want your customers to say that with you guys i had bad sex you didn't meet my customer expectations most companies unfortunately are happy with boring sex i expect something you give it to me i pay for it so what what every customer is looking for is exciting sex that is exceeding my customer expectations just a little bit make me smile make me say thank you i had a good time give me the right product the right service at the right moment using the right channel even using the right tone of voice or i kick you out start with the customer expectations and start with the customer experience make me the center of what you do not the result but the center the starting point recognize me listen to me help me share stuff with me motivate me inspire me change me and leave me alone when i'm going to be left alone know me better than you know yourself that is your biggest challenge and then companies say yeah rick we understand it but we have a million customers does it mean that we need to build a million companies around every single customer the answer is no you don't have to because there is this magic thing technology you have to become a technology first company you will able to solve that issue what is the next wave of technology the next wave of technology is the holy trinity the combination of big data artificial intelligence and robotization and that's not even the future it's already in your daily lives think about it the combination of big data artificial intelligence and robotization and it's going to help you to run a better business because every part of your business that's very complex will be solved by using big data artificial intelligence and robotization even putting the customer in the center of the universe and create segments of one create a segment for every single customer maybe you're on spotify i'm on spotify your spotify is different than my spotify how come spotify uses big data and those big data feed the central brain and that central brain is capable to create your and my specific music connect to many and engage individuals that is the magic formula for the day after tomorrow connect to many and engage individuals at the same time if you're able to do that you can never be disrupted but i've got bad news because the bad news is this every business will do exactly the same in the future collecting processing and activating data to do what to create to create mass personalization to put you and me in the center of the universe all business doing the same that means that all industry lines are going to disappear and all industries are going to melt down into one gigantic bloody red ocean and in that bloody red ocean there's full of sharks and swordfish and piranhas that are already there and waiting to eat your company in the future it's no longer the big that eat the small but the fast ones that eat the slow ones so think big start small but move extremely fast i would love to call that the red ocean strategy why because blue ocean strategy forget about it because there are no blue oceans left anymore 
And what is the Red Ocean strategy? Start with your existing customers and hunt their frustrations like crazy. Do not fall in love with the solution like Kodak did because it kills you, but fall in love with the original problem. Think about the interface. Kodak was killed by a crap product, digital camera. But the interface of that crap product was better. It was faster, it was easier, it was more accessible, it was simpler, and it was more tempting. Turn everything that you do with your customer into a feast and use technology to do that because technology is going to help you to do it just a little bit better, but do it 10x better. And then you get engaged customers. And don't underestimate the power of engaged customers because every customer is connected to all other customers. Every customer can be your patient zero and spread the good virus. Elon Musk knows all about it. His engaged customers become his sales and marketing army. So the formula of exponential growth is simple. It's technology first, red ocean strategy, engage customers and use the power of, of networks, use the power of ecosystems. Ecosystems, I'm writing a book about it because I don't want you to wait for it to happen. Make it happen. Become part of ecosystems and be an ecosystem. Now, what is an ecosystem? Just imagine, I take this glass of water, but this glass of water, I didn't know that, is boiling hot. Luckily, my fingers have sensors, but my sensors are stupid. They send data to my brain and my brain transforms those data into information. And then that information travels back to my hand using my nervous system. And now my hand becomes an application. My hand lets go. And it has to happen as fast in a short feedback loop because otherwise I burn my fingers. That's an ecosystem. You need an infrastructure like my body. You need sensors, you need a central brain, a platform, you need a network to make sure that the data and the information can travel fast. And you need applications between you and the outside world. It's as simple as that. So try to imagine how your business would look on this smart ecosystem canvas. But there's a couple of rules of an ecosystem. The first rule is that an ecosystem is only there for the survival of the ecosystem. So that means that within an ecosystem, there are no winners and no losers. Everybody needs to contribute to the very survival of the ecosystem. And what makes an ecosystem run is data, data, data. Ecosystem is all about data. That's why I love to call it smart ecosystems. Smart as in good for people and planet, but also smart as in extremely data driven. And now I come with the good news. The good news is that every company is able to crack the magic formula and to survive the twilight twenties. Look at it like an open market with no specialists yet, full of low hanging fruit, your customers. And the entry costs are low because the entry cost is only about data. And your future money, your future oil, your future gold, our data. And you're lucky because everything that you do in your existing business is not only making you money, but is also creating data. Start to collect data like crazy. Every day that you collect data, you get richer. And every day that you miss collecting data, data, data is a day lost. And why do you need to collect data? For your customers. Because your customers do not remember what you say or what you do, but they will remember how you make them feel. So ask yourself the most important question ever. What would your customers miss if you would not be there? Think about it. You need to become an honest company, an ethical company. You need to be authentic. You need to be responsible and you need to be transparent. Show your heart. No, we're not completely at the end because this is not a tsunami. This is just a great wave. And I want you to adapt the mindset of a surfer. Love the big waves. Work hard to get on top. Once you're on top, don't give up and surf it all the way down. 
and you can only learn how to surf while you are surfing. And remember this important force, the net curious discord. Be passionately curious. Don't just follow your dreams. Chase your dreams. But don't be afraid to follow me. My name was Rick and I hope you enjoyed the ride. Thank you very much.